think if you think of employer branding similarly to your brand itself, so the brand or perception that uh, people have of your organisation as an employer, I think one of the comments that uh, has been said, which is a good comment, is it's what people think of your organisation or perhaps what they say about your organisation when you leave the room, um, as often said, uh, is, is your employment brand. So I guess specifically organisations go out there today to develop a brand which aligns the values of the organisations, senior stakeholders and people within the organisation and reaches out and emotes a response from people out there so that they understand what it might be to join your organisation. I think uh, as a first point, people don't invest in the employment brand to, to sell product. It's, it's not seen as you know, a direct uh, approach to, to build the business. You know, it's, it is a people oriented uh, investment. There's numerous reasons that people go out and invest in, in their employment brand. If we look at um, one of the probably the most significant of those is, is staff retention. Employment brand perspective, if the messages to the market aligned with the organisations, with its values, with uh, what it is like to work in that organisation, then you can attract the right people into the organisation who have a good affiliation, association and, and feel that they've found the right place for their skills, talents and, and I guess their values as well. And, and once that alignment occurs, you would obviously see a correlation in the retention that would come from getting that right. Others include the employee referrals, which we now see as, as perhaps one of the increasing channels of how organisations go to the market and try to attract people to their organisation. So we've seen some incredible growth where I think over the last three to four years uh, organisations have seen referrals perhaps at a point of say 30% was set as a benchmark for organisations as uh, a figure to attain through referrals. Now that benchmark has doubled, you know, so this year you know, people are talking about organisations that can achieve 60% of their attraction through referrals as the new benchmark of being able to uh, source talent to the organisation. And that only comes through an engaged employee workforce and people who join an organisation which they have that affiliation. So it does start with employment branding. I think the other areas include you know, the reduction of the recruitment costs, so there's a cost associated and again in this economic climate trying to get cost wastage out of the business is, is, is vital, it's more important than it's ever been. So getting people into the organisation where you've got good retention or people who are selecting in, so they're seeing the, the brand in the market, they're feeling an association, a call to action where they're applying those people are much more likely to be selected into the process than deselected out of the process. And again, once they join, you know, obviously, as I've said, they stay in. Uh, in addition, uh, are joining up with marketing. So again, there is always uh, an association between uh, the consumer product uh, or, the, or the brand which is sits behind the products and the employer brand. Organisations have to build their employment brand, the associated values around the specific employment brand versus the product brand, but there starts in that nat natural link. Um, I guess ultimately that the holy grail of I guess employment branding is, as, a, as an investment vehicle is company performance. And again, there's lots of associated uh, information that talks about that type of success. I think again, if we look at referrals, the you know, organisations that have a higher percentage of referrals, the research done by Watson White and I think Booz Allen recently show that market performance of organisations that have referrals over 30% are more likely to be successful than those with, with below 10%. To build your employment brand, you need stakeholder engagement. Like all things, there is an investment required. To raise some, uh, some financial investment in any market, you need sign off of, of a budget to actually to, to invest to, to get out there and do that. Um, you also need brand champions or someone who's actually going to own the employment brand and kind of work within the organisation and externally to help build that brand in the marketplace. Additionally, if we look at some of the organisations and how they measure success, you look at uh, best employers as, as one of the ways that organisations will look to measure the success of their employment brand. And you know, setting goals for the measure of success of an organisation are key. Uh, whether that you know the performance of their organisation against their peers, whether that be a, a, an employment branding, a recognition for any of the work that they might do, you know I think those are some of the areas that, that are important. I think getting those three uh, addressed initially is important, and then actually putting the program together. So actually building it out, what what are the values that the the employment brand will sit with? How do they sit with the the employees within the organisation. You can't exactly go to create a employment brand unless there's some reality with 
kind of what the organisation stands for. And so having a, a clarity around the organisation, what its values are, what context of its, uh, you know, the economic situation, the, the priorities of the organisation, and then building on that to represent that in the market, external marketplace and making sure it's aligned to the internal marketplace. If you look at um, people coming into the organisation, if it's misrepresented in the marketplace and then they come into the organisation, there will be a, a lack of alignment and you'll go back to, to see the, the, the program being unsuccessful. Yeah, there are many organisations in, in different markets that have, have built well-recognised employer brands. If we think of the market in Asia in particular, hotel sector, I should say there's a number of organisations within this sector that actually have performed well at, at developing their employment brand and aligning that to the values that they have and, and engaging the workers when they've come in. So Hewitt survey, for example, of uh, engaged workforce or best employers. You can see organisations, uh, for example, in logistics, where their, their taglines or, or their industries have uh, tremendous retention rates and uh, tremendous internal mo mobility. And I think an organisation such as you know, FedEx, for example, um, is one that's recognised in the, in the industry as an organisation that has over 90% of their uh, employees who have internal mobility opportunities for promotion, which is you know, it's obviously a sign of people staying and, and seeing the, the value of the organisation. And then, you know, broader, I think there's other industry or other companies in other industry sectors, uh, such as technology, that have built very powerful employment brands um, that uh, are recognised when people think about getting a job in, in an industry sector, their natural association is with some of those brands. I think today, more, more than ever, the investment in, in employment brand is, is vital to the organisation. Employment brand is, is vital to, to ensure that when you get the right people into the organisation that they're aligned to your organisation. And there's no doubt that good people will all, they always have the opportunity uh, no matter what the market uh, conditions are. So to have the right people in your organisation who are engaged with your workforce is, it has a lot to do with getting the right values extolled into the market and people joining the organisation and feeling that alignment. And, and that, that remains as important as, as it did yesterday, as it will tomorrow. It's really important that when people go to the market and are looking for employment, they understand what it is to join your organisation. And as such, going through the process that they feel that they've treated fairly and, and that when it comes to recommending your organisation, or in fact, looking at your products and services, there's still a good association with your organisation, whether that be as a, an employer or as a former employee or someone who may have touched your process as a, as a candidate looking for a job. Therefore, getting the employment brand right at the front is really a foundation for success.